Hi, my name is Darren Kenningsberg from Welcome Studios. We're a sustainable design, development, and manufacturing company in the eyewear space. Uh, some of you are wearing glasses today, and some of those glasses, traditional injected plastics, can take up to a thousand years to decompose. Um, if we go onto the slide, deck one. There we go. In the 18th and 19th century, glasses were made with animal horn, bone, and real tortoise shell. These are rare, covetable materials meant that glasses were only available to the elite. Celluloid was invented in the 19th century. It was the first synthetic plastic to use, many, to use in manufacturing eyewear. It shares many similarities with modern cellulose acetate. However, there's a major caveat. Celluloid is highly flammable. Beautiful, yes, but not very safe. So in the past eight years, cellulose acetate has been the dominant plastic in the eyewear manufacturing. It's made with three main ingredients, cellulose from wood pulp, acid, acidic and hydride from coal, and plasticizer from petroleum. Although often presented as a natural plastic, conventional cellulose acetate relies heavily on fossil fuels. Around 10 years ago, a biodegradable version of cellulose acetate was invented with bio capabilities coming from replacing the petroleum based plasticizer with one made of vegetable oil. Although a tremendous step in the right direction, this material is still only made up of 68% naturally derived materials. Earlier this year, circularity inspired cellulose acetate was created. Instead of using acidic anhydride from coal, a new process was invented wherein plastic waste was broken down at the molecular level to extract acidic anhydride from scrap materials that would otherwise fill up a landfill. The resulting material is around 60% bio-based and 40% recycled, a groundbreaking development in the eyewear industry for designers and manufacturers like ourselves. So where do we go from here? We want to eliminate all virgin materials from the supply chain. Despite the fashion industry's focus on sustainability, the eyewear sector has been very slow to react to its own environmental activism. For many people in eyewear, the newly developed circular focused material means that the hard work is done. But for us, it's truly just the beginning. We want to revolutionize eyewear manufacturing by replacing conventional raw materials with food crop waste. For those unfamiliar with cellulose, it's the most abundant polymer in the plant kingdom. At present, cellulose for eyewear manufacturing is extracted from a combination of wood pulp and cotton, of which cotton represents 16% of the world's insecticides. So we ask ourselves in 2020, why is anyone logging trees or using cotton to make a pair of glasses or sunglasses? Food crop waste is a massive global issue. In North America alone, 1.5 million acres of oilseed hemp and oilseed flax is burned each year. And each of these crops has a higher percentage of cellulose content than wood pulp. So surely it makes sense to replace virgin materials with waste product from another industry. Our company, Welcome Studios, designs manufacturers for some of the largest uh, renowned brands in the retail space and in the world. These partners have the influence and scale to support material innovation and drive real change. Our mission, our missing link actually, is to find experts in the food crop, uh, in food crops, farmers, chemists, engineers. We need help connecting the docs, dots to bring these ideas to life. It's an open invitation to any of you or anyone you know uh, to join us, work together, create a solution for a circular economy in our space and potentially help other spaces as well. So join us and let's change the world together. And I just want to say I really appreciate this platform uh, and, and this moment in time for being able to express our area of uh, expertise. So thank you.